Hello, this is Ken. I'm doing another card video and today. I'm showing off some cards that uh, I picked up from the card show. Uh, I went to a card show uh, in Venice, Florida, which is about an a hour and 10 minutes uh, south of Tampa. Uh, my wife went down to Tampa to visit with some of her friends and also to see her niece. And I was down there with her, plus we went to St. B. St. Pete Beach, and uh, we had a good time there, but when I was looking up stuff to do, I saw the card show, because I was not going Black Friday shopping at the mall, so I found a card show to go to, so uh, I got a few pickups, uh, there are a lot of vintage cards, I picked up some Hall of Famers, and uh, this card show only had uh, like 20 tables, you know, in Jacksonville, I was used to the, you know, like 40 to 50 tables. Uh, Orlando has at least 30 to 40 that I've been to. But uh, I found some nice stuff to pick up. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with the, the hockey and the basketball. All right, I picked up this. This is uh, Gene Ratcliffe in 1978 of the, let's see, you see that, of the Boston Bruins. Uh, that would be on my Boston Bruins binder. I'm a big Boston Bruins fan and I have the binder. And I got them sectioned in there by year. So that was a great pickup. Also, I picked up this. This cost me a little bit more, even with the crease. I still think it's worth it. But I got a Kareem Abdul Jabbar of the Bucks. Uh, it's hard to find a lot of them. Well, Kareem Abdul Jabbar with the Bucks. You can see that crease, but uh, I don't care. Uh, you know, I got this card cheap. And uh, this is a great pickup. Okay, uh, on to the baseball. Uh, all of these are Hall of Famers. They should be Hall of Famers. Picked up uh, the Hostess card. And this is Pete Rose. This man deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. And he wrote an apology for what he did. And he needs to be in the Hall of Fame. I know what the baseball is trying to do. They're going to punish him and not induct him into the Hall of Fame until after he passed away. And that, that would be sad if they did that. But there it is, the hostess of the Pete Rose. Uh, this guy, the, whoever owned it before, he cut it up. He cut it real nice. But they weren't always centered on the back. Okay, uh, picked up Reggie Jackson. I seem to always pick up a Reggie Jackson sometime or another when he played for the California Angels. And that was a Perina, that one like your oddball or your promotional cards. That was worth picking up. And uh, I just had to pick it up. All right. Then I found. Uh, the card right here. I did not have no Roger Maris cards whatsoever. Uh, I probably had one at one time. I don't know. But this was the 1960 Most Valuable Players that Topps uh, put out. And it's Roger Maris and Dick Grote. And uh, this is just a nice card right here. And I'm glad they got a reprint of it. So I uh, picked that up. And uh, I didn't have a Bob Clemente card. And this is card was very off-center. Somebody tr uh, cut the corner off of it a little bit. But it had Bob Clemente, Orlando Sapina. Except I, I cannot pronounce the last name right now. And Hank Aaron. But this is a great, that was the RBI leaders. It's a great 
pick up right there. I don't care about the corner. Uh, I'll set that to the side and uh, put up my top loaders. And I picked up this. This was a great pickup. This is uh, all time greats. I think these were 1964s. I have to go back and look. And this is a mini card. These were by Fleer. This is Hank Greenberg. And uh, these cards are not cheap. I mean, I got it cheaper than what they sell them for on eBay. And I know uh, the chosen roster with Sean Tiford. Uh, he likes Hank Greenberg. He shows a lot of his stuff. Uh, he collects a lot of Greenberg. And I'll show you the back. All right, that's it for baseball. Well, I got a great card I'll show later. Then I got football. This is, uh, I had to pick it up because my son lives in Michigan. I think everybody knows that, my youngest one. There's the Detroit Lions. And that was the 58 or 59 tops. And it has uh, lines. Not a lot of people know this, but they were the world champions four times. So you can see there on the bottom. Uh, they never won Super Bowl, but they have been world champions four times. Uh, it's just a great pickup. All right, next. I have, uh, this is probably the newest card I bought out of all of them. And the Walter Payton. Uh, I had a bunch of these Walter Paytons, but they were not, they were kind of damaged, like on the corners and worn on the ends. And uh, that's one of him in the air. And I saw that. And I said, I got to have it. I've been looking for that a long time. And I had just had to pick it up. All right, next, I'm going to tell you about these two players. This is Ernie Statner, 1958. And that's going in the Steelers binder. Uh, only one person that, that, that's been known of or the research is only war number 70 for the Steelers. That's Ernie Statner. Uh, it's, it was the first jersey ever retired by the Steelers. And I, I want to give some stats. Uh, he was a nine-time Pro Bowl. Uh, he got three safeties in, of all time, which was a record until uh, Jared Allen broke it for the Vikings. He was the 1957 Best Lineman Award. Why don't they have that? I mean, this he would play lineman when other linemen would hurt, offensive linemen would hurt. Uh, he coached the Cowboys. Uh, he was the defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. Won two Super Bowls. He also won a World Bowl for the NFL Europe. And uh, this he was a great player. I mean, a lot of a lot of us still are fans that keeps up with the history knows about Ernie Statner. And there's the back of that card. Then I got this. This is a 1951 Pete Fajos. I just really like that old school look. And uh, I just had to pick that card up. Now, he was a six-time Pro Bowler. Had 61 receiving touchdowns. He led the NFL in receptions from 1953 to 1955. That is uh, just a great card there. Lo love these vent old vintage cards. All right, next. Uh, I don't have no information on him. I'm trying to get it out. These are Salus Sal Salada T. And it's like a disc coin. You know, they come out with a lot of these baseball. I'm going to close that up. 
right there. Because there is not a lot of football with these. And I seen this and I said I had to pick it up because he had like 10 different ones. I thought one of the Steelers. And I had to pick it up. Just a great pickup all around. I enjoyed this card show. Even though it's small. And here is another rarity I got. This is uh, Captain Jack. This is an uh, Indian card. In the Indian gum card. So Captain Jack was a Native American chief. And uh, if you hold on, I got some information on his. Uh, uh, I'm going to read the back of this card. Captain Jack was chief of the Wadox, a small hostile warlike tribe living in the northern California and southern Oregon. They had bitter struggles with uh, whites and made many raids on neighboring tribes for slaves. Captain Jack uh, massacred two white men at a peace parley. He was later caught and hanged. And if you go on Wikipedia, uh, they have some interesting facts on this card. On uh, this Indian, I mean Native American Captain Jack. Uh, I just had to get it and I got it at a cheap price like for two dollars and this is why I got it for two dollars it was messed up on the back so why I just read out was the back of the card I had to look it on a computer and this is uh, a neat card to have in the collection all right last is uh this came from eBay this is uh 1952 nine Gil McDonald and I'm gonna show it right there it is graded at a three uh, I think it looks decent uh, yeah there's a little spot on it and yeah, I will probably go forward maybe but there it is uh, Gil McDonald uh, he played uh, every year they played with the Yankees he had 112 home runs, 576 RBIs. He was a six-time All-Star, five-time World Series champion, and was the NAL Rookie of the Year. There we go. And before I leave, I'm going to just show some old cards. So, there are these cards. And uh, I'll show this one too. Show these two over again. That's it. Uh, hope everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, hope your teams uh, did pretty good in the NFL. Uh, well, this video won't be coming out till Thursday, so I'll probably, uh, hopefully, my Steelers from one. So that's all I got. Hope everybody does good. Make sure to subscribe to the little, to the smaller channels out there. And thank you for watching.